Hi, I'm Chris Kepler, and welcome to Does This Happen to You? I'm an actor, voice actor, audiobook narrator, and writer. I love telling and sharing stories about the strange experiences my friends and I have while doing mundane things like grocery shopping. That's why this podcast features funny stories from fantastic writers about our daily anomalies, a micro-audio book about life and befuddlement just for you. Our story this week is from Max Klein, who you'll find on Medium.com, and here is Nine Signs You're an Idiot But Don't Realize It. Number four, you often yell at youth coaches and referees. A defining characteristic of idiots is thinking they aren't. So if you're questioning whether or not you're an idiot, ask yourself, is everyone else an idiot? And if the answer is yes, then you likely are. This is why it's tough to know when you are one. So how can you tell? Well, we all know that sometimes the only place you can go in life for absolute and undisputed truth is some random article by an obscure writer online. So read on to find out if you're an idiot. Number one, you write for sale signs with super tiny words expecting people to be able to read them while driving by. How hard is it to write in big letters? For sale, $1,200, OBO, call XXXXXXX. Apparently, it's nearly impossible. Usually, you drive by some lemon parked in someone's yard, and the sign is so tiny that there's zero chance of reading any of it, even the phone number, from the road. So you're forced to pull into their driveway and park and get out just to see if it's even worth pulling into their driveway and parking and getting out for. If you can't imagine what your sign will look like to someone else from a distance, you are slightly an idiot. Or you're just luring people in for a better look. In that case, I suppose you're not an idiot. Number two, you speed in parking lots. This one signifies a 95% likelihood of idiocy. You put grandma and her grandkids' life in danger by speeding 70 miles per hour through a Walmart parking lot to get to the vape shop 0.4 seconds faster than you would have if you'd been driving at a safe speed. Does that 0.4 seconds you save justify putting anyone at even a little risk? If the answer is yes, or you just haven't thought of that, you're an idiot. Number three, you are fine with literally abusing fans who root against your team. Philadelphia, I'm looking at you. I'm sure many of us have seen the videos of Eagles or Raiders fans assaulting, pouring beer on, or otherwise seriously abusing people for daring to wear the other team's jersey. If sports are important enough to you to literally hate another human or destroy their dignity, you are a 100% idiot. Look at Steelers fans instead to see how fans should act with class. Number four, you often yell at youth coaches and referees. You know your kid is the next Tom Brady, so you swear at coaches or referees who don't seem to know it yet. This has become more rampant over the last decade, but thankfully I'm seeing some serious pushback against it. Sports can definitely get emotions flaring, especially when so much work is put into them and things like scholarships are on the line. So it is important, but not important enough to completely lose your shit over ever. Grow up. The vitriolic, yelling, swearing parent is a bane to youth sports. Number five, you think islands can tip over and other basic wrongs. Perhaps I'm going overboard on this one, but if you don't have even a basic grasp of how things work, then you could be an idiot. I once watched a lady at a toll booth throw seven balled up $1 bills one at a time into a coin basket 
and get angry each time the bills weren't going down into the tiny little coin slot. She sped off swearing at the broken infrastructure. What? Or the politician who thought that Guam could become so overpopulated that it will tip over and capsize is a perfect example of this as well. If someone doesn't understand these how things work types of things, everything they say is automatically suspect. Number six, you drive slowly or at the same speed as the right lane while in the passing lane. If you habitually drive the same speed or slower than cars in the right lane when driving on a highway, like speeding in parking lots, you are causing unnecessary risk due to ignorance of your own actions. Idiots don't realize the chaos or risks they cause. If you are oblivious to the effects of your actions behind the wheel, there's a good chance you're oblivious to the impact of the rest of your actions on life. If you drive like an idiot, you are an idiot. Number seven. You complain incessantly about volunteers. One of the worst types of people out there is the one who never volunteers for anything, but always complains about the ones who do. Some legitimate concerns or complaints are fine and justified. And then there are a few bad apples out there in the volunteer community. But if you really don't like something, either step up to fix it, volunteer, or shut up about it. This is why people don't want to volunteer, teach, or coach. The parents. Parents, knock it off. Anything else is usually self-unaware, demoralizing, and idiotic. Number eight, you arrogantly write articles about other people being idiots. Wait, scratch that. Some people who write articles like that are absolute geniuses. Number nine. You leave comments on this article explaining how you do some of these things and why. Idiots are good at rationalizing their shortfalls rather than recognizing them as such and taking responsibility to fix them. If you feel compelled to leave a comment saying that I'm an idiot for saying you're an idiot because you do the above things, then you're the idiot. Remember, I write things online, so I couldn't possibly be an idiot. Conclusion. Don't feel bad if you're an idiot. We're all idiots here and there, but some of us are idiots everywhere. The good news is you can fix stupid after all. Just read more articles like this, or watch YouTube videos about how to properly navigate a toll booth, or stop yelling at umpires like they just murdered your dog, or use the left lane to pass, or become more like a Steelers fan, or learn how islands work. Then one day you'll look in the mirror and there won't be an idiot staring back. Listening to this article got you one step closer to that glorious day. You're welcome. Thanks so much for listening. If you enjoyed the story, let me know and share it with your friends. Follow me at Chris KK Aria on Twitter or Chris K. Kepler on Facebook. Or check out my website, 